compactness is one of the most important definitions of mathematics. This is not the time or the place to try to give it in full a um, real analysis class would better suit for that. But we will give an abbreviated definition that works on the plane. We'll state this definition a little informally, but a region in the plane is closed if it contains its boundary points. So for an example of a region that isn't closed, we could look at all the points x comma y such that x squared plus y squared is less than one. This region is a circle the unit circle and it's all of the points in here but the points on the circle it Self, the boundary of the region are not included. So this is not closed. If we made this inequality strict, now we're including the boundary. And this set is closed. Bounded is a pretty intuitive definition. A region is bounded if we can draw a circle around it. So, you know, this region here. is bounded. We can draw a circle containing it. By contrast, for a region of the plane that is not bounded, we could look at one of the quadrants, say the first quadrant. Obviously, this first quadrant extends infinitely up and to the right. There is no way we can draw a finite circle around this infinite region. I said in my preliminary uh, remarks in this video that this definition was important. It perhaps doesn't look like much. A region is compact if it is closed and bounded. And this is true in the play. Also in R3 and R to the N, but we'll be looking at um, stuff in the play and applications in the play. And let's go ahead and give one more definition. It would make a pretty short video if I did it on its own. Definition. A set or region D is called a trapping 
set or trapping region if one it is compact and two if we start in the trapping region, if x of zero, comma y of zero is in the trapping region, we are trapped in the region. That is to say, that as time progresses, x of t comma y of t cannot leave d. If we start there, we remain there. 